Hi guys, we have Marty Lacker here, Memphis Mafia member and also close friend of Elvis Presley. Talks about just how angry Elvis could get and had a terrible temper. But then very quickly he would calm down and regret it and be extremely nice to the person he'd lost his temper with. When Elvis got into a bad mood, it was like a huge black cloud that came over and he had a very quick temper. Even though this rarely happened, when Elvis did lose his temper, he would fly into a rage and almost black out. And he'd say things that you've never heard before in your life. He would string expletives together and make words that you've never, <laughs> never heard of. And he'd be mad, and, and but he'd stay mad for maybe 30 minutes and then it'd be over. And Elvis was an extremely intelligent man and very well read. And he really did know how to string words together and make you feel really bad, like you had done something wrong. If, if it was directed towards somebody, one of the guys or what have you, at the end of 30 minutes, he'd uh, be overly joyful with the guy. He fired us en masse 10 times. And it's well known that Elvis Presley fired the Memphis Mafia many, many times and then very, very quickly regretted it. And I would say Elvis regretted most of his arguments and sometimes Elvis would overreact and just get things wrong because deep down these were his close friends that he had spent many years with and he really wanted them around him. And when they weren't around, he felt uncomfortable. So he really did want them to be part of his life. Every one of you guys, get out of here. Go on home. And this is when we'd be in L.A. And Elvis didn't really mean it. And he was under a lot of pressure. He had a lot of insecurities. And he would take things the wrong way sometimes. And yes, he was stubborn and he just wanted to get his way. And sometimes it was just his way or the highway. He was a human being just like you and me and had his faults. But deep down, he loved all of them. Thanks, guys.